Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's going on? It's fight week. It's fight week. We got a huge fight coming up this Saturday. Undisputed, super lightweight, junior welterweight, 140 pounds. It's going down, man. This is for the best of the best. All the belts on the line. You dig what I'm saying? This is for all the marbles. And it couldn't be two better fighters to have this fight against at the 140 pound division other than Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. This is going to be a great fight. These are two incredible fighters, both extremely skilled. These are two really solid all around fighters. I mean, these guys just they have the ability to do so many different things. And of course, each fighter has their own style. We know styles make fights, but these two guys, they have perfected their style and they're just complete fighters. And I think this is going to be one of those fights that, you know, it's hard to pick. It's hard to predict. You know, some people might look at the styles and say, OK, I like this style better. I think this style is 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 more of a complete style or more well-rounded style. But at the same time, you got to look at what both of these guys are able to do within their own game and their own skill set. And they both do um, what they do very well. And uh, they're hard to beat. This is going to be a difficult fight to win for both guys. I don't think this is an easy fight for either fighter. Um, let's talk about Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez is an incredible uh, combat inside, you know, come forward fighter, pressure fighter, uh, very active, throws a lot of punches, extremely strong. I love how he goes to the body. Um, he never neglects the body in fights. He always makes sure that he... You know, he puts his work into the body and, you know, makes those deposits and they normally pay off by the end of the fight. Um, Jose Ramirez has a really good job when he works his way on the inside. I love that he's going to have the reach advantage in this fight. I believe he's at 72 while Josh Taylor is at 69 and a half. So even though he's a come forward fighter, that reach advantage, I think will work to to his advantage it, it's going to help him out a lot to be able to use that jab as a as a range finder as he's working his way on the inside kind of like a blinder similar to how earl spence uses his jab as he comes forward i think that's gonna be really really beneficial to him in this fight i love jose ramirez's his his ability to fight off of instinct in the exchanges anytime there's an exchange I like Jose Ramirez's chances to come out on top in that exchange because he has great instincts and he throws really good straight punches. So a lot of times while guys are throwing looping left hooks and overhand rights and things like that, Jose Ramirez, he he eating. He getting with you straight up. You know what I'm saying? He throwing straight punches and they get to you quick and they very powerful. He has a low center of gravity, even though he's 5'10", which is pretty tall for 140 pounds. Josh Taylor is also 5'10", but Jose Ramirez got a low center of gravity. He know how to get low and really dig with those shots to the body and to the head. He has a really good chance for what we've seen. I haven't really seen him take any, you know, a lot of big shots from a big puncher. Josh Taylor is a pretty big puncher. So that's going to be interesting to see how he's able to take Josh Taylor shots. Um, Jose Ramirez is a big puncher himself. Both of these guys have great power. You know, uh, for that division, they have really, 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 really good power. You know what I'm saying? So I really like Jose Ramirez's his pressure fighting game. You know, it's, it's impressive uh, because y'all know I love when a fighter can put both physical and mental pressure on a guy because it makes them do things that they don't want to do. If they're not equipped to handle that type of pressure, it makes them do things that are uncharacteristic, which normally leaves them open 
for shots. You know, it leaves them open to be put in positions that they don't want to be in. You know, so that Jose Ramirez is going to be tough to beat. Josh Taylor, an extremely skilled fighter. Extremely skilled. I think Josh Taylor might be a little more well-rounded simply because the hand speed, the ability to come forward and fight with, with good pressure, using the jab just like Jose Ramirez, but he just has more of a, um, a boxer puncher style. Um, he can come forward. He can box off of the back foot. He has great hand speed, great power for that division. You know, he has great ring IQ. Both of these guys have high ring IQ. But Josh Taylor, his his ring IQ and his ring generalship is just on another level. I like how Josh Taylor is able to control his opponents. You know, um, he outthinks his opponents. It's crazy because when you're in there with a guy that has so much physical abilities with the power and the speed, um, combination ability, different things like that. And then on top of that, they have the, the IQ advantage where they can outthink you and, and you know, make you do things that they want you to do. Just pretty much control you in a ring. That's really tough to beat. And that's how Josh Taylor beats a lot of his guys. If you go back to the Regis Pro Gray fight, which was a very close fight. And I think between the two fighters, that's probably the best win. In my opinion, I think Josh Taylor's win over Regis Progre is probably the best win between the two fighters. And you know, Regis Progre is a, is a extremely skilled fighter as well. And he's a thinking fighter with good defense, good head movement, um, good counter punching ability, has power, hand speed. But Josh Taylor, even though it was a very close fight, Josh Taylor was able to, in the, in the championship rounds, he was able to control Regis Progre um, for the, the, the most important moments of that fight, the most important moments of those championship rounds in order to separate himself and get the victory. You know, he really controlled the pace in that fight. He made Regis Progray be defensive when Regis Progray should have been offensive. Um, you know, and then when it was time to, to make Regis throw and, and so he can counter him, you know, he, 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 he had the feints going, he used a jab, the head movement, just put himself in position to make Regis Progray think that he was going to be there and he wasn't. And he came back with a counter. Uh, Josh Taylor is a southpaw, so that's going to be something different for Jose Ramirez to adapt to in this fight. I don't know um, Jose Ramirez's history with fighting southpaws. I don't know how comfortable he is with fighting southpaws. But, you know, Josh Taylor being not just being a southpaw, but being an extremely skilled southpaw who who has a great jab, who can throw every punch in the book, um, who can fight on the inside, he can fight on the outside. I really see Jose Ramirez, even though Jose Ramirez has the, the reach advantage, I really see this being a fight that's fought pretty much in the middle of the ring, for the most part, because Jose Ramirez will be coming forward with that jab as a range finder trying to get on the inside. I see Josh Taylor boxing off of the back foot for most of the fight at least trying to you know box off the back foot circle around and counter as Ramirez is coming on it coming uh forward trying to get to the inside but at some point they're going to meet at the middle of the ring and just really get it on I think this is going to be one of those half chess match half dog fight type of fights you know you're going to see in some points where Ramirez is coming forward, you know, trying to use head movement and feints, trying to go to the body to get uh, Josh Taylor to open up. And then you're going to see points and times where Josh Taylor is having success boxing off of the back foot. And then at some point they're going to meet in the middle of the ring and you're going to see a counter punch extravaganza. You're going to see just skill versus skill. Josh Taylor is also a great body puncher. I think you're going to see a couple of knockdowns in this fight. Somebody going to get hurt in this fight. I don't know if there is going to be a stoppage. I wouldn't rule it out at all because both of these guys let their hands go. I can't really see either guy holding back in this fight. With everything on the line, with it being undisputed, like I said, these two undefeated guys, uh, both of them are strong. Both of them throws a lot of punches and they are both offensive fighters. Even though I feel like Josh Taylor is probably the more uh, well-rounded guy 
little better defense, little better head movement. Um, he's just a little better with the overall boxing ability. I don't really see him being very defensive in this fight. I think he going to try to go for the gusto. And the same thing with Jose Ramirez. That's why you're going to see this fight. This is going to be, at, at some point, this is going to be a middle of the ring, phone booth type of fight. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be exciting to watch. Nothing but fireworks. This is an extremely hard fight to predict. Um, history will tell you that the boxer, the guy who is better boxing off of the back foot, will have the advantage over the guy coming forward. History will say that, but that's not always the case. You know what? I'm. This is tough, man. I'm going to go with Josh Taylor by unanimous decision. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'm going to go with Josh Taylor by split decision. I think it's going to be a very close fight, and I think one of the judges is going to give it to Jose Ramirez, and rightfully so because it's going to be that close of a fight. I'm going with Josh Taylor by split decision. Split decision victory in an extremely close fight with one or two knockdowns. It might be a knockdown apiece on both sides. But this is going to be a very good fight. And man, this is a hard one to predict. This is a hard fight to predict. You know what I'm saying? I'm going with Josh Taylor by split decision. I can see a stoppage either way. I can see Josh Taylor. I, I can see Jose Ramirez getting to Josh Taylor and stop it. That's possible. I can see Josh Taylor overwhelming Jose Ramirez with the combinations and the hand speed and the IQ landing the right shots at the right time and stopping Jose Ramirez. That's possible. But I'm going to go with Josh Taylor by split decision, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. How do y'all see this fight playing out? Who you have winning and why? And really break it down for me because I'm interested to see how y'all assess this fight you know because i went back and forth looking at film and i'm like man it's this is truly a 50 50 fight and it's truly a undisputed fight whoever wins this fight is the best fighter at the 140 pound division i i'm excited to see them either defend their undisputed crown one more time versus somebody else or go up to 147 and cause hell you dig what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.